Saturday morning. Nobody else in my house was up yet. I'm surfing my phone, and an email comes in from the Alouettes, and their outstanding PR guy, Charles Rook, that the Alouettes have agreed to part ways with head coach Mike Sherman, and Kahari Jones is taking over on the interim. <sighs> to say I was surprised would be inaccurate, because not only in Montreal, but nothing in sports, period, surprises me anymore, but particularly the Canadian Football League. Mike Sherman, there was issues there in Montreal going back to last year. And this is what I don't understand. When the Riders went into Montreal in September, I was just attacked by Alouette staffers about all kinds of things, about Manziel, about Sherman, about um, problems with that organization. And it's a tire fire. Clearly, it's a dumpster fire. It's embarrassing for the Canadian Football League. I put a, a clown emoji on my Facebook story and kind of felt bad about that. And then I saw all these other ex Alouettes players putting, calling them clowns in Montreal. And for the governors and the CFL and the chairman and the presidents and whomever that supported Andrew Wettenhall for so long and said we were being hard on him, the son of the owner, Bob Wettenhall, he's a good guy. He's a sharp guy. No, he's not. Just look what's happened there since Andrew Wettenhall took over. And allowing Cavus Reed to just systematically dismantle what was the proudest franchise in the CFL for 20 years and to continue to allow him to do it. Like every commissioner I've ever known has said, I don't meddle in team's business. That's the owner's business. They can run their teams how they want. Well, Randy Ambrosi, you're now the owner of the Montreal Alouettes because the CFL owns the league. Wettenhall gave the keys back. So, Randy, you got to get in there and start kicking some ass yesterday. Because you had to wait five months of an offseason up until one week before the season opener that the head coach gets fired? Now, I don't know Mike Sherman. Uh, if he came up and I kicked him in the shins, he wouldn't know who I was. I like the guy, but what I heard from the Alouettes is that he's too hard on the players. That he's running it like the NFL old school and you can't do that anymore and that the locker room turned on him uh i'm th if, if you want to know why mike sherman was warned about taking that job in the first place which he was and nobody wanted to take that montreal job last year this is why this is exactly why what's happened in the last 48 hours by the way you chairman you governors that that say andrew wetnall you guys are being too hard on him you guys need to get out of the boardrooms and stop patting each other on the back and smoking cigars and telling y'all how great each other is and get down on the front lines and see what the hell's going on in your organizations. And I'm talking about Montreal specifically, but ever since Bob Wettenhall left and sailed off on his yacht off the coast of Florida and left it to the CEO, Andrew, the child of existing owner, the franchise has gone to hell in a handbasket. How can you say... You guys are being too hard on him. Look at the results. I mean, K I love Cavus. I have a very tough time being hard on Cavus Reed because he's such a nice guy, dresses well, talks a great game. Where's the results? We always say it's a results-based business. Where's the results? What got Cavus hired in the first place? And please tell me what he's done in the last three to four years since he got there other than make the franchise worse. And don't even get me started on Manziel. We'll get into that with these guys. Manziel was carrying on and doing all that stuff that got him kicked out of the league the day that he showed up in Montreal. Like, it was funny because when he was kicked out of the CFL and the league sent out a news release saying as much, my phone blew up from players and coaches in the league saying, did Johnny Manziel go back to doing those things? I said, he never stopped. And Cavus knew. So, come on. You're watching Rod Peterson On Demand. For more of The Rod Peterson Show, visit rodpeterson.com or follow Rod Peterson on social media.